The line between visual art and audible art for many years has been mostly separated. Yes, there have been a few multimedia artists that have attempted to bridge the gap, but when most of us listen to music, for the most part, we just want to listen to music, not necessarily watch it. And yet, we all enjoy beautiful artwork in the form of paintings, computer graphics, movies, and so on. Now, when you think about it in those terms, well, audible art and visual art have been married for several years. I mean, what are music videos? But not really where synthesizers are concerned. Most of us synthesizer enthusiasts prefer simplicity when it comes to synthesizers. Can I have a knob labeled rate, please? Or a slider labeled cutoff? When it comes to synthesis, most sound designers, keyboardists, engineers, etc., all tend to prefer simple labels, simple functionality, but with big, big sound. The guys over at Isotope understood this all too well when making a synthesizer slash sampler known as Iris. Though if you looked at it, you probably wouldn't realize that Isotope actually made synthesis more intuitive than what you're probably used to. And this video series is here to prove it to you. Iris marries visuals and sound in a way that you probably never ever thought of doing it, through a form of synthesis known as spectral synthesis which allows you to work with selected frequencies of an audio file to sculpt sound in a very unique way. In this course, we're going to get an intimate understanding of Iris and the way you create sounds that you've never imagined. And what's even more exciting is that through Iris and its unique way of painting sound, you might even reacquaint yourself with your visual artistry as well. All right, let's get started.